Hey folks, AJ here, and in this video, I was asked to see and show how to set up the ATEM Mini with the software Minicam. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I had a question that came from a subscriber that wanted me to show how to use the ATEM Mini with Minicam. Now, let me just jump ahead and just tell you right now, because of the ATEM Mini, it just shows up as a webcam on your computer. So literally any software that's out there that actually can take in and use a webcam for a, in, a video input will work with the A10 Mini. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just, I'm downloading it now on the computer here at church. So let's just go and see what all the thing, what this whole thing is about, all right? All right, I'm here on our computer here. And we downloaded the latest version of Minicam 7.0.6. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let's go ahead and run this. And I guess I'm, I'm, a part of me is just wondering what's the interest in a lot of this. The good thing is there are a bunch of other pl applications that will allow you to live stream, give you different effects that are easier for other folks that are not as strenuous on the computer that you're using. But then again, you're also talking about there's a lot of free applications out there. So I guess that's what the um, drive is about this. Because honestly, I never even heard about Minicam until a subscriber suggested that to me. Let's go ahead and hit finish. And I'm going, I'm using OBS right now to record this. So I'm now gonna transition over to using Minicam because it can't, <laughs> Dates and Mini can only be detected under one program at a time. All right, so I am here using Minicam and it looks like this is the free one. <laughs> um, I guess everybody's trying to make some money off the stuff, which I can't, I can't knock them for doing that. And as you can see, because this is the only device I have connected, it shows up just like any type of webcam. Now, if you're seeing a delay, it's because I'm recording all of the A10 Mini is going into the mini cam and I'm using OBS to screen capture. So it's not out of sync from OBS. It's just that I'm doing a screen capture of what I'm doing, which shows the delay. I'm gonna try and sync the audio so you don't really notice it that much. But let's go ahead and take a look around all this thing. So let's go to settings, run at startup. No, cause I'm gonna be uninstalling this once um, I finish this. Notify me about new versions. I don't need that. Show the logo, no. Oh, you need to upgrade that. Oh, I knew it. So we're gonna have this little mini cam thing as long as that's here. Hardware acceleration. Um, so we're gonna use hardware, which is cool. Uh, virtual cams, okay. Well, you can set up an account, link it to whatever. Subscriptions. You can take snapshots, okay. You can do recording, obviously. Uh, now with the free version, the highest resolution, it looks like you can go up to is 720p at up to 60 frames a second. Okay. Um, audio, we're pulling into the vault audio. And you can actually listen to sound from your mic. Okay. So you can, I guess you could do some type of noise cancellation or something like that. Um, noise suppression, all right. Network, if you're using a proxy, you can actually capture games, okay. Desktop capture, all right. You can have uh, RTMP server settings. I guess that's where you're con gonna connect to whatever you're gonna live stream to. You can actually set up a server, so it looks like you can set this up to where you can accept connections coming into this, okay. You can connect to IP cameras, I think that's kinda cool set up motion detection. So that makes me think if you can do IP cameras, which are normally um, security cameras or higher end cameras for uh, 
I guess for your church or something like that, you can do that. But I'm thinking security because you can set up motion detection for it to capture whatever is going on. Similar to, I guess, uh, security camera in NV, um, NVRs and stuff like that. And then you can set up hotkeys. Okay. Let's see what else you have. You can draw and text. Okay, that's somewhat cool. Let's see. Let's do draw. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, there's text. What else here? And you're limited to only two scenes or two inputs. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Um, blur, whatever stuff you can do here. Let's do this. AJ, the CEO. All right, and there's text in the bottom, okay. That's kind of cool. You can add time here. A timer or something like that. So I guess you can do kind of like a countdown timer to when your stuff is gonna start. That's cool. You can do chroma key. You can do chroma key. I'm not using any type of green screen, so I guess that's cool. Lower thirds. Let's see. And let's say AJ, the CEO, and we'll do modern media ministry made easy. All right, let's see what that looks like. Boom. Okay, that's cool. I'm wondering if there's a way for you to change colors. I mean, they have. I guess a bunch of ones that are pre-made. And there we go. More of the buy the full version. I don't like stuff like that. Let's do a simple one. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's cool. Whatever effects we got. We can add gifts, backgrounds, school, other lower thirds. What's in here? Okay, so I guess they have their own little store so you can get more stuff, okay. Gallery, you can add, pic oh, that's your recordings and then these are your favorites, okay. Here's also where you can change the resolution and all this other stuff. We can record, take a snapshot, live stream. Uh, we can do two rows, but it looks like to add more sources you have to upgrade. So let's say I'm gonna add in monitor number one where I'm using OBS to record this. All right. So that's pretty straightforward. But like it says, if we wanted to add more sources, that wouldn't work. So I guess like based off how we do, like if you paid for it, you could do the other scenes to where you have your, your um, stream is starting soon. You can use the built-in countdown to do that. Um, you could do online giving, all this other stuff. That's cool. But it looks like, I mean, obviously you would have to pay for it to get the, this stuff gone and open up all these features and go to a higher resolution. So let's just see. I'm not going to pay for it. I want to see what this is going to cost. So if we transition over here, $29 a year for HD and for four video sources, $60 for two devices, two computers, 12 sources and up to 4K, or $80 for three devices. Um, okay, RTMP servers are limited, IP cameras are limited. They remove chroma key? Oh, wow. So, oh, wait a minute. Now, that's annually? Oh, heck no. 
but seventy dollars for a lifetime. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna leave that one alone. So I guess for those who asked, those are the prices. I will leave a link in the description for who, if y'all are interested in that. Again, I'm not trying to knock it. Um, I was asked to review, so I'm gonna leave that. That well, I'll give you my opinion. I like that they have a lot of these features built into the software. The only thing, yes, OBS or even I think vMix is kind of like the same way, but vMix is as a one-time, lifetime um, thing in which you only have four sources as well. Um, and they're linked to one device. So I think it looks like they copied kind of like that type of model. Um, I'm big, still a big fan of OBS just because of what it allows you to do without any cost. But I can understand that there's obviously a market for this because it wouldn't have been made if it wasn't. So um, I think this could really be beneficial. Um, I'm not a fan of a yearly subscription to stuff like this, but I'm thinking if you decide, I mean, you, I would probably go with the, the studio version here um, and pay $120 and have it for life. And then you have, at least you can put it on two sources and you have 12 video sources and 4K output. And it looks like you have literally everything that you need outside of priority support. But um, I mean, it was cool to actually see new stuff out here um, and different options. I mean, I'm all into having multiple options to be able to do what you're doing. Me personally, I wouldn't use this just because of what we have, I think offers a whole lot more than what they do. But if you have somebody who's not technical at your church and you just want something to be able to work, I mean, it really didn't take nothing for me to do. It picked up the ATEM connected and it looks like it's just a couple of button presses to add different stuff, add lower thirds and things like that. So for simplicity, hey, I give it five stars for that. Um, usability, I think it's the exact same way. I haven't tested a live stream to see how it works. But again, I think for the market that will look at this, if they just want a kind of a turnkey type of thing that just works, I think this is a cool option. Um, again, out of the programs that I've used, I would probably rate this higher than Duckstream or whatever that one, I can't even remember the name of it. Um, I would put this over that but I would put vMix over this and me personally, I would put, I still have OBS at the top. I think this is honestly better than live stream studio that comes with Vimeo. That's just me. But anyway, I hope you like this overview of Minicam, really straightforward with the ATEM Mini, um, capturing audio, everything, nothing really changes. It just picks it up. So that's really cool. So anyway, if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry and doing different reviews of different softwares, products, and all that other fun stuff. Um, just to let you know that I have a project that's coming up that I talked to y'all about um, a while ago, and we're moving forward with that. Y'all will get some more details about it, but we're gonna be installing a Sony laser projector and a fellowship hall redoing a sound system and a whole bunch of stuff so we can have some cool pro products to start reviewing and playing around with so look out for that and you'll know about that if you hit that bell <laughs> that way you get notified when we come out with videos because in spite of all this we still have 75 percent of the people who watch this my channel and the videos that are helping y'all are still not subscribed so do me a favor hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out other videos to help with modernizing your media ministry and tech in your church. So anyway, this is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.